What's up everybody, Zero here. I'm going to lend a hand to those that use OBS that uh, don't really know how to set it up or always have issues setting it up. I'm going to show you streaming and uh, recording. Now, sometimes some people have told me that their recording settings while they're streaming are too beefy. Um, you know, that's a hit or miss. Uh, I always tell people, like, why record when you can transfer everything from Twitch to YouTube anyway? But, hey, whatever. You do you. So, here's my settings for OBS 2017, and I'm using OBS Studio, which technically has replaced OBS. Uh, that's why mine looks completely different. If you go to the website, you still can get the old one, but uh, I'm actually starting to fall in love with the new one. So, let's get into it. You go over here, you go to settings, click settings. Uh, for general, make sure you know your native language is what you need. Uh, theme, there's dark and then there's default. Default just looks like the standard white there, as you can see. And then there's, you know, dark just, it's easier on the eyes in my opinion. Um, so let's jump into stream because there's not a whole lot there you really need to worry about. So now if you're streaming on Twitch, you know, obviously you set your stream type to streaming services. You set your service to Twitch and you put it the closest server to your living quarters. And then you put in your stream key. Uh, I don't have software to blur that out. So if you want to know how to get your stream key, it's really easy. Just go to Google, type in stream key space Twitch or Hitbox, YouTube, whatever you use. Uh, that's pretty pretty simple to get. So now we'll jump down to output. Output. Um, always make sure you're set to the advanced mode up there. And audio track 1 for streaming. And encoder, make it at 264. Use CBR uh, control rate. Now here's where the big thing is that gets people. Right here. The bit rate. All right, Twitch caps out at 3,500, all right? What that means is its upload is it's using 3.5 megabytes per second upload. So basically, go to speedtest.net and test your, up, test your internet speed um, and take whatever your upload is and use roughly 80% of it. Now, my upload is almost like 2530, so I max out and I use the 3500 setting, but that is the maximum setting for Twitch. Uh, Keyframe key intervals, I run at a 2. Uh, now, this, I have a very beefy computer, but I still don't use fast, medium, slow, you know, whatever. I still stick with very fast. If I was you guys, I would stick with somewhere between super fast and faster. Or if you got a really under par, subpar computer, even run ultra fast, it's just going to make for a cleaner stream. Um, from there, we'll jump to audio. Audio's uh, not really tricky. Uh, the only thing I say to do is like you got two options up here. You got your 48 kilohertz and your 44.1 kilohertz. Now, the way to go check all of that. The easiest way is go down to your little sound device down at the bottom. Let me make sure I'm getting down there. So yeah, you come to your little sound device down here and you right click it and you click recording devices. You go where your microphone is, you right click that and you click properties and go to advance. Now right here it's going to say what you're set to, like 48. Granted I can go down to 44, 100, but I'm set to 48 thou. And whatever that is set to, copy copy that exact same setting into your sample rate. My channel is Stereos, my desktop audio device. Some people don't like to change that, but I always change mine to be my, sc my Skull Candy headset because I don't use my speakers when I stream. Uh, the next thing, your mic auxiliary, definitely set that to your preferred mic. Uh, just in case, because some people I know have webcams that have mics on them. Mine technically does, but I set mine to my Yeti microphone. That way there is no confusion. Uh, I don't use any of the camera, miss, push to talk stuff, push to mute stuff. That's all on you if you want to figure that out. Uh, video. 
I stream at 1920 by 1080. So basically my base canvas and my output is exactly the same. I've always been told to use the land cause or the land cosos, whatever scaling for 32 samples. And I stream at 60 frames per second. Some y'all, you got a little less beefy computer. You might have to go down to 30. Hotkeys, I do not use. They're cool if you really want them. I feel no need because I just go over to my second screen and stop and close things as needed. Uh, the advanced tab, make sure you're running uh, above normal. Process priority. Uh, render, I use Direct3D11. With uh, the color range, I use full. I believe it starts as like... Uh, partial or whatever. I definitely use cold, full. It makes it uh, more vibrant, better looking. Uh, basically everything from there, I don't touch. If you feel the need to make a change to that, by all means. Now, jumping into recording. The only difference is, is you go to output here and you click on recording. Now, I use the standard type recording. You can see where my videos go. That's where everything goes. Now, recording format, I say to switch to MP4. It starts out as a FLV or whatever. Uh, go to MP4. Trust me, it's, it's better. It's cleaner. Yeah. Uh, audio track one. I don't use any other audio tracks. I mean, if you have fancy software, you can run two tracks. So, like, I could have music in this video or whatever, but and then go into my editing software and take that music out if I want to and just leave my voice comms from my Yeti microphone. Uh, cool for some people if you're streaming and you want to listen to cool music and then rip it out so you can still take your video and take it from Twitch to put it up to YouTube. Uh, my encoder, I use the NVENCH264. My rescale output is my resolution of 1920 by 1080. Uh, once again, CBR for rate control and bitrate. This is this works a little bit different. Uh, a standard baseline that I've always seen people use and I use is 40,000 bitrate. And from there, make sure you're using two-pass encoding, GPU 0, B-frames 2. Uh, basically, that's it. That's how, how I'm all set up. I'm going to click cancel though because just in case I messed anything up. But that is how I'm set up. Uh, it's pretty smooth setup. I've never had a problem streaming. I've never had a problem recording. But if you want any more help on other on other things with uh, setting scenes, setting sources, I might set other videos up and post them up here uh, for you to check out later. Uh, I'll also make new videos based on comments below. So hope this helps anyone out there that's streaming or recording on Twitch primarily. And if it does, Give it a thumbs up. This is Zero signing off. Y'all take care.